Hey y'all, this is Jessica with Bless Your Heart. Let's make a windbreaker inspired tumbler. We're gonna do a custom mix for our base here. This one is from Nola Craft Culture. This one's Taking Chances. And the other one is also from Nola Craft and that is Spaceballs. We're gonna add a little bit of Nikki's Secret Sauce All Nighter into that. We're gonna put them all together, mix them all up and see what we think. And here's what we created. I want a little bit more sparkle, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of the taking chances to it. I am putting this on a darker base, so I really want those silver shapes to pop. And here's what it looks like up close and personal. I'm gonna use this epoxy additive called Presley for Mr. Fancy Pants. It's super shifty, color changey. It's gonna be one of those almost like oil on water kind of. You never really know what color you're looking at. In my opinion, that's what it looks like. You wanna make sure that you mix it up really good so you have none of those clumps or weirdnesses that kind of come with it. We are gonna put it on a black base. Just put your little bit of epoxy on there. I think I mixed up about five milliliters. And look how that pops on that black base. It's not gonna be the same color everywhere you look at it. I'm not real sure if this is a chameleon or what it's called, to be completely honest, but I really love the effect that it gives. We're using this epoxy layer as the adhesive for our glitter, and we're just gonna sprinkle. You don't really have to go full coverage unless you want to. Those fines end up taking over like I kind of thought they would, but that's okay. You'll still see some of that popping through. Since we are using so much chunky, we're gonna do our best to lay all that down so we don't have to use a thousand layers of epoxy because that's never any fun. And now for the windbreaker part. I have never wrapped cellophane around a cut before. So this is what we're gonna do. I could not find any of the iridescent cellophane, so I just used a clear. I cut a big, a decent square out of it and I'm just crunching it as best I can. Just as many of those crinkles as you can get better. And then we're gonna spread it all out and try not to spread it out so much that you take all the crinkles out because that's what we're going for. Then I'm going to use Tack It, and I'm just going to squirt a little dollop on here, or a lot of dollops, and we're going to just cover the entire thing, and we're going to let it dry till all of that is transparent again. You want no white showing anywhere. Now that we're transparent, we know we're dry, so I'm going to go in with Mr. Fancy Pants Muse. This is, I think, just like a chameleon mica. Um, it's been a long time since I've purchased it. I will link their website below. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle this on and try to give this cellophane that iridescent look because I could not find iridescent cellophane. And in my mind, this is gonna give us that shimmer to me. This is gonna give us that shimmer that those 90s windsuits had, that little like something extra they all had. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's see if it works out the way my mind thinks it will. It kind of is looking that way, but we don't really, we're not going to know until you get it on the cup. But you can see that it does give it that kind of shifty pigment, kind of weird finish that all of those had. Now we're gonna put on our decals, I guess. I just got all of these from Creative Fabrica. This vinyl is something I got from Heat Transfer Source in one of those like $25.99 bundles or whatever it was that came. And I just cut the different shapes out of, I think I've got four colors and five different shapes that I've done over all of this and I'm just going to place them and overlap them and make them look as retro as possible on that starry black base that we have and hope for the best that it turns out like my mind envisions it. There's really no rhyme or reason to me placing any of these. I'm just putting them on where I think there's a hole and I need something else. 
Once I get it done, I'm going to check it out and see what I think. I'm going to trim the top and the bottom with my vinyl cutter, and then I'm going to go in and put the cellophane on. To put the cellophane on, I'm going to use polycrylic. I know polycrylic tends to dry clear, but I'm thinking in my mind with that mica that we put on the cellophane that you're going to see that cloudiness, which is going to give us that kind of wrinkly, iridescent effect that most of those windsuits had. In my mind, this is going to work, but let's kind of hide and watch. Once we get it completely covered with that polycrylic, you're going to try to keep it as straight as possible. I do not believe it matters, but you know, some of us are a little OCD. So I'm just going to go and kind of smooth it out as I go, not really pressing super hard because I want to keep all those crinkles and wrinkles in there, but I do want to adhere it to the cup as best I can. So I'm just going to go around and around until I get it how I like it. I'm not going for something that's going to be magnificent because I really don't know what this is going to do. So let's just see how it turns out. Once I get it wrapped, I'm not going to trim the top and the bottom yet. I'm going to wait till that stuff dries and then I'm going to see what it looks like. And this is where we're at. You can kind of still see those crinkles, but of course we're going to go in and finish the tops and the bottoms. I figured what goes better with the 80s and 90s than fluorescent pink and fluorescent green. We're going to line the top and the bottom with both of these. The pink is cut at 11 and a half by 0.25. And the green one is 11 and a half by 0 0.10. And I'm going to lay the pink first and then the green on top of it and just trim right at that seam so we don't see so much overlap because this is not a completely opaque vinyl. Now, normally I like for that first piece of vinyl to be covered a little bit more just to see a tiny offset, but this time I wanted more of that pink to show. I just think it looks kind of cool and it goes with the rest of the tumbler. So we're just going to continue on the way we're going and get it all lined up. And then we're going to epoxy until smooth. And here you go. You can see all those spaces and all those bubbles. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I hope to see y'all again next time. Bye.